We're looking at an article from the Guardian newspaper entitled, Yes, We Are Judged on Our Accents by Hannah Jane Parkinson. I'm going to use this article for the sake of a paper one style analysis. It's going to be useful in order to go through an exercise on how to read and develop the paper one textual analysis skills. This article can be found online. It's roughly two pages long and the topic is revealed in the title. The purpose of this video, video number one out of three, is going to cover what is expected in a level one response and then what is expected from a level two response will be covered in video number two and video number three in a series we'll talk about what is in a level three response so just to give an overview level one means to restate restate what's happening what's the topic in the article so information that should be covered in a level one response should be author if that information is available date if that information is available uh, text type if you know it's a newspaper article then you should say so source if that information is available then you should also identify that and what is the topic and the content okay so it's almost like a summary in a sense just what is said in the article but you, sh you shouldn't do a line by line response of the article you should be summarizing generally the main ideas so can we see the author is that information available for level one yes can we see the source we know it's a guardian we have the title we have the date and the topic is revealed in the first paragraph we know that this is about being judged on accents and the author then goes on to present two converging ideas on this topic one of Esther McVeigh who says you should not have to neutralize your accent another noteworthy high-profile person Margaret Thatcher who did go through vocal training and changed their accent the author then gives two examples one from academic life where having an accent hurt her opportunities and then another example from her professional life where her accent did not interfere with her opportunities she goes on to give examples of how widespread this is it's not just limited to Liverpool it's also expands to London but it's not just limited to England either you also she's also experienced similar judgments in Russia and then she finally concludes by saying it should not matter people should not be judged on their accents okay so after you do the level one response which is a restatement hopefully you can do that in two uh, three to six sentences for the sake of this exercise and developing your textual analysis skills keep it brief keep it simple don't get 
bear it down in too many details and a sentence by sentence paraphrase that's unnecessary. Just stick with the main details. For a level one response, it doesn't matter the names of Esther McVeigh or Margaret Thatcher, that doesn't matter, that does not have to be included in your written response. It doesn't matter that the author uh, had an experience when, at Oxford when she was 20. That does not need to be included in your level one response. It does not matter that her professional interview, her job was at The Guardian and I was successful. It doesn't you don't need to mention specific details, such as the place where she experienced uh, success uh, or non-judgment due to her accent. You don't have to specifically mention London or Liverpool. You can just state in general England, because that's the main idea she's getting at. And you don't have to say Moscow. She's just trying to illustrate a point of how widespread uh, the type of judgment is, judging people by their accent. That's a level one analysis. Also, you might be able to include uh, the purpose in your level one response. Okay, purpose relates to one of three things. One of three things for now to keep it simple. One, to explain. Two, to resolve. Or three, to persuade. You can mention that also in your level one response. After reading this article, I believe that the writer is trying to identify a problem and resolve a problem. Yes, there are many persuasive rhetorical techniques that she uses. However, uh, overall, she's trying to resolve a problem. In the next video, we'll talk about level two. A level two response is description. In a level two response for description, you're going to talk about how the topic is presented. All right, if level one says what the topic and content is, level two is going to say how the topic is presented. That means you're going to have a focus on rhetorical devices. And you don't just I list rhetorical devices. You don't just go through paragraphs after paragraph saying, oh, there's rhetorical questions, there's use of ethos, appeal to authority, there's use of humor and sarcasm in her tone, there's use of X, Y, Z. You don't just list and list and list rhetorical devices. You state a rhetorical device and then you have to say the effect of the device on readers. Alright, this is for level two. Level three analysis, which will be covered in video number three, this is just a preview. Level three is the interpretation. Here you're looking for underlying meaning. You can't make any wild interpretations. Your interpretations have to be based off of the text. Your interpretation, in order to derive interpretation, you're going to be focusing on the language. 
and devices used in the passage in order to support your interpretation. For example, you cannot you cannot conclude that this article is about female rights just because you figured that Hannah J. Parkinson is a woman. And therefore, the next logical conclusion is that this article is about the struggles of a woman achieving acceptance in both academic and professional world. It's not a reasonable interpretation supported by the bulk of the text. You cannot say that this article is about advocacy of the rights of young people or something wild and unrelated to the bulk of the text. All right, so level three will be covered in more detail in video number three. I hope this video helped. You could rewind it and fast forward it as you like in order to cover anything that you've missed. If you have any questions or comments, please send me an email or leave a comment at this on this video.